Hello students, today we are going to do a few more questions on polynomials. As question you can see obtain all other zeros of given polynomial if two of its zeros are given. So students whenever first of all we will check this polynomial has degree 4, highest degree is 4 so this polynomial will have 4 zeros. <clears throat> so two zeros are already given and we have to find other two zeros. So first of all is dense if two zeros are given so we can find its two factors two zeros are <coughs> square root five upon three and minus square root of five upon three therefore two factors of polynomial r <clears throat> so first will be x minus first factor first zero and second factor will be x minus this so two zeros are x minus this and second zero minus minus it will become plus so these are <coughs> two factors of given polynomial so similarly students we can find other two factors and from those two factors we can find the zeros putting them equal to zero we can find the zeros so two factors are these and we have to find the other two factors <coughs> so we will find product of these product of these factors so x minus this multiply x plus square root 5 upon <clears throat> 3 so a minus b a plus b simply a square minus b square so x square minus square root of 5 upon 3 it will become 5 upon 3 or this can also be written as cross multiplying so 3x square minus 5 upon 3 or this can also be written as 1 upon 3 into 3x square minus 5 so it's done this is the <clears throat> product of given two factors so similarly we have to find the product of other two factors so given polynomial should be divided by this to obtain the product of other two factors so we will divide the given polynomial by this <clears throat> so dividing px or given polynomial by <clears throat> 1 upon 3 3x square minus 5 so is done we can divide leaving this 1 upon 3 away we can divide by 3x square minus 5 we will find the product of remaining factors <clears throat> So dividing by 3x square minus 5 and given polynomial is 3x raised to the power 4 plus 6x cubed minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5. So dividing this. <clears throat> so first of all students the degrees are in descending order. The terms are in descending order of powers. So dividing from the first term of the divisor we have to make first term of the dividend so 3 3 coefficients are same so <coughs> we need x raised to the power 4 so we will multiply the div <coughs> divisor by x square so x square multiply 3x square we will get 3x raised to the power 4 now x square multiply minus 5 we will get minus 5 x square minus 5 x square so we will write the like terms <coughs> together now changing the sign of subtrahend plus 3 minus 3 cancel <coughs> 6x cubed minus 2 plus 5 plus 3x square minus 10x and minus 5 <coughs> now is done from this 3x square we have to make 6x cubed 
so we need 3 2 ja 6 so we need plus 2 <coughs> but x raised to the power 2 so we need one more x to make this x square as x raised to the power 3 so multiplying by 2x so 2x multiply 3x square we will obtain 6x cubed now 2x multiply minus 5 we will get minus 10x now changing the sign <coughs> 6 minus 6 0 minus 10 plus 10 0 now we have 3x square and minus 5 <coughs> now both are same so 3x square minus 5 1 ja 3x square minus 5 so we will multiply by 1 so 3x square minus 5 now changing the sign so remainder will be 0 <coughs> therefore the quotient is the product of other two factors <coughs> therefore product of remaining factors <clears throat> so product of remaining factors equals to the quotient that we have obtained right now is x squared plus 2x plus <clears throat> 1 now this can also be written as x plus 1 whole square <clears throat> x plus 1 whole square is this or we can also write it as x plus 1 into x plus 1 <clears throat> therefore other two zeros are other two zeros are from this we will get minus 1 and from <clears throat> second x plus 1 equating it to 0 so x equals to minus 1 so other two zeros are x equals to minus 1 x equals to minus 1 these are other two zeros of the given polynomial so two zeros were given <clears throat> now similarly said we can also find in this polynomial is done this polynomial <clears throat> when divided by gx gx is not given which polynomial is this we have to find that <clears throat> the quotient quotient is this and remainder is this dividend dividend is x cubed minus 3x square plus x plus 2 quotient is this <coughs> remainder is this and divisor we have to find the divisor now suppose student the dividend the number that we have to divide is 20 the divisor is quotient if quotient is and remainder is 2 so we have to find the <coughs> divisor so how do we find this then if 20 has to be divided by a number and the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 2 so it means what was this number 20 minus 2 it was 18 because we will find the remainder 2 when 20 we will subtract 18 from 20 and how do we find 18 here 3 6 yeah, 18 so similarly we will try to find the numbers <clears throat> so how did we find this 6 first of all we subtracted 2 from 20 we obtained 18 so similarly here we will subtract remainder from the dividend <clears throat> and then we will divide that by quotient x minus 2 similar approach we have to apply here so divisor can be obtained by <coughs> divided minus remainder and then we have to divide that from the that difference from the quotient we have to divide <coughs> so so we will subtract the remainder from the dividend so here putting writing the like terms together so we will change the sign of the subtrahend so x cubed minus 3x square coefficient of x is 1 coefficient of x is now plus 2 so 1 plus 2 it will become 3x plus 2 minus 4 minus 2 this ha has to be divided by the quotient <coughs> now dividing by quotient and quotient is x minus 2 dividing by this x cubed minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 
first of all we have to make x cubed from this x <clears throat> so multiplying this x by x square so x square into x x cubed and x square multiply minus 2 minus 2 x square now changing the sign of <coughs> subtrahend this cancels so minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 now we have to consider it plus 2 minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 x square plus 3x minus 2 <coughs> now we have to make 1 x cube x minus 1 x square so here with x we need minus 1 and 1 x also because <coughs> we need power 2 so minus 1x into x we will get minus 1x squared and minus 1x into minus 2 <coughs> plus 2x now subtract changing the sign <coughs> we will obtain 3 minus 2 this will cancel and 3 minus 2 1x minus 2 now same so x minus 2 once 1 year x minus 2 so subtracting <coughs> we will change the sign and we will get zero remainder <coughs> therefore gx equal to the quotient we have obtained x square <coughs> minus 1x plus 1 this was the divisor so students this is all for today <coughs> try these questions in your fair notebook and also try some more questions on polynomials how to divide one polynomial by the other polynomial till then thank you